Houston and Matt Schaub leaving the Dolphins struggling to swim. Hi guys, how are you? Lauren Shahadi talking Pete's picks here on CBSSports.com and doing so with our NFL columnist Pete Prisco. Pete, I was living and dying with that Houston-Miami game for you this week. Yeah, and you know, I could have swept the whole board if it wasn't for that. Uh, you know, it really annoyed me at the end of the game where uh, Houston got a, uh, a pick and then turned the ball over on a fumble and gave it right back to Miami. I, I had a chance to be 5-0, and but we'll take 4-1. and That's right. It annoyed you among other fans, I'm sure. Okay, let's talk Week 7. The common thread in the New Orleans-Oakland game was the ineptitude of the Oakland offense. You're sticking true to the Raiders, though. Yeah, I don't believe in the Jets. I, I think the Raiders getting back home, uh, getting points, at home against the Jets team that I'm still not sure about. Uh, they didn't look that great in beating a Bengals team last week without Carson Palmer. So I'm going to stick with the. Or I'm going to take the Raiders and plus the three. A lot of hype, Pete, surrounding the Baltimore defense. Indy though stepping all over them, and you think the Dolphins will do it again? Yeah, I don't like teams, and I say it every week on here that go back to back on the road. And uh, Baltimore just it was terrible last week. I think Miami will play harder. I think they're uh, they're, they're in a good spot at home getting the team on back-to-back -back road games. So I like Dolphins minus three. Pats, Denver, both coming off losses. The Pats, though, are going to rebound, you think? Yeah, again, uh, you know, Denver is going to make that long trip across. And they've had success against the, the Patriots in the past. But I, I think New England with Belichick uh, getting all over them all week long will be much, much, much more focused. I don't think Denver is very good on defense. I like New England minus the points. Okay, let's talk about quarterbacks for a second. Jake DeHome virtually doing nothing in week six. Drew Brees establishing himself as one of the best, if not the best, quarterbacks in the NFL. Saints plus three in week seven. Yeah, yeah, and the thing about that is, is I'm a big quarterback guy. I went, you know, when in doubt, you go to the quarterbacks, and you just put it uh, as succinctly as you could. I mean, Breeze is playing great. Delhomme isn't. Uh, I'll take Breeze and the three points. San Diego taking one back against New Orleans from last year. Bills coming off a bye. Who gets your vote? Again, cross country trip. West Coast team coming off an emotional victory that they had to have against New England. I'll, I'll take the home team and, and take Buffalo minus the. the I actually pick them. I'll take Buffalo pick them. Okay, you were 4-1 and one this week. What are you smelling next week, Pete? I'm 5-0, and oh, I think. I can feel it. I'm loving it. I can feel it. My money's on you. Thanks so much for your time. Pete Frisco, our NFL columnist. Always a pleasure. All right. Thank you, and thank you for watching. Keep it locked right here on CBSSports.com. For all your NFL needs, see you later.